Ladies and gentlemen, today we are looking at the most legendary theme park that I have seen in a very long time, and it is from the builder bracket of the mini park contest. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. This looks sensational. It is a tech campus turned theme park and pays homage to both science from the past, present, and future located in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Wow, I am super excited about this one. You're not gonna wanna miss out on this, so stay tuned and we'll get right on into it. Hey yo, my planet coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're looking at Plan Plan Tech Industries, created by Scorch CT, a builder of the community, and here they say, "Welcome to the Plan Tech Industries, the technology theme park. This tech campus turned theme park pays homage to both science and sci-fi of the past, present, and future. Set high in the Sierra Nevada." mountains you'll come across influences as diverse as epcot psychonauts venture bros how it's made and many more as you explore the parks of several areas creating a vibrant and immersive park Plantech Industries is home to three headlining roller coasters, along with six flat rides, a skyline, and an action-packed river rapids. Need a break from the action? Eat or dine in one of our more than 10 themed restaurants and shopping areas throughout the park. And don't forget to take a night lighting after a long day of thrills. I hope you enjoy the visit of Plantech Industries, and I think I just might. Good googly moogly. That is a mouthful for a mini park. I cannot believe it. This builder showing how it's done. Wow, this might just be the one to beat so far. What an exciting contest it's been up until this point, and it's only getting better. So be sure to subscribe, guys. You're not going to want to miss out on these 80 plus wonderful mini park creations. All right, let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Plan Tech Industries. Hope you're all doing fantastic today. Hope you're enjoying this mini park contest so far. It is only ramping up and getting better every single submission. Okay, there was a bunch of references that I'm probably not going to recognize, but hopefully you guys do. That's, uh, and it, that's why at the end of the day, you guys are the judges. That is right. There are voting forms for all the brackets. And you guys get to decide the winners of this contest in every bracket and the best overall. Super Thrill, Super Science, Super Park. That's what I'm talking about by now. <laughs> nice. All right. The uh, modernistic, futuristic, and past architecture in this park is sensational. I absolutely love it. Look at these uh, gravel rocks. Is that TMTK? Very nice. Yeah, I am blown away. When I opened this park up, I got excited. And uh, I tell you, using Reshade for these cinematics, the B-roll, is quite a joy. It's always fun trying to get the best shots. There's Planet Coaster. There's Reshade. Just giving you all a reminder. Everybody's getting used to it, seeing the best-looking parks. Uh, although this is the best-looking park, with or without Reshade. It just lends aid to it. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna wander around. I want to go see what this is all about The architecture is the best so far that I've seen in this contest Plan tech get your headgear Park info super secret. Oh It's a cube Chief B I want to know what the super secrets all about Oh Wow Oh, look at that! Wow. What are we doing in here? King Coaster? <laughs> look at his legs all limp like that. They are um, experimenting on the Coaster King himself, which in fact, at this current moment, is Bukhul. So in theory, <laughs> that's Boogie. Time Machine is active for the coaster. Ride middle seats. I love me some Time Machine stuff. Time travel is my favorite of everything in the world. Uh, green across the board. There's a look at the stats. And they said middle seat. I'll cut to it when it's ready.
God, googly moogly. I'm not sure where you fit all that. <laughs> I guess that's what she said. Whoa. I did not expect that. Jam packed. Where, where is that? Just underneath us. What is happening here? I like the little window pokes uh, poking up into the surface. We're gonna have to find some of those perspectives and look down at the coaster below. Blast off cafe, launch tower. I guess you could say it's a lunch tower. Ah, ah. Get your coffee. All right. What the heck? The coffee reservoir? This is so cool. Uh -huh. Brewed fresh with every ride. Oh, wow. This thing is brewing up a storm. I don't know what row we want to sit in for this. Maybe row four? Nailed it. Oh. I'll, I'll do the old switcheroonie. We'll pop up for regular Planko. Still looks incredible. Boop. Reshade can often look the best up close. Doesn't always have the best uh, distance shaders. Does a second launch there. I'm good with just the, the couple that we did there. Man, this is a uh, legendary. Wow. What is happening? There's over 10 shops and it shows everywhere we go. There's another shop. Wow! The signage and the decorations is impeccable. Wow. TMTK items. Gravel! I thought it was a TMT. Okay. All this for a rocktopus. This rocks. Look at the extra little tenty foods on the side here. Oh my god. This is a vibe in here. Yeah. This is awesome. Look at we even have solar panels here charging all the rides. The uh, floral foliage all looks good. <laughs> a little bin put in the hedges there. Plantex skyline. I want to go to the skyline. What's in here? The Alp Alpine Pavilion. Ooh. This is really nice. We got worse sausages in here, staff management. How do we get up top? Oh. <laughs> we went up the exit. How do we get in the entrance? Ah. Whoa. Bum, ba, da, 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 bum. I think we have to go on this. All right. I'm going to put it on two times speed because the chair looks a little bit slow. And we get a nice view of the whole park here. Look at these coasters on some sort of runway. We got an airport here. Oh, wow. Jeez. There's just details everywhere. This is truly legendary. I give this man a promotion. I love the new builder and builder brackets because you always get these creators that are artistically talented but just haven't put anything on their workshops yet. And then they sign up for one of these contests and voila, legends are made. I'm going to switch over and do a jump cut so we're at the top here. All right, figured I'd make it nice and immersive for us. So we actually rode to the top there. Oh, look at the views here. Cool perspectives. This is a cozy little box shop. This is a sign of a good designer when they just take the plain box and make it look gnarly. Great little teal there, a flower barn, little pots on top, a nice custom logo. 
Oh, I'm still on two times speed. Let me slow that down. Yeah, this is incredible. Let me do the old toggle Rooney. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. Gotta love reshade. Well, having a good time? Leave a like on the video if you're having a good time, enjoying the mini park contest. The executive. There's just really cool designs everywhere we look. I think we kind of need to go on this spinny thing because it looks like it spins over kind of like the cliff there. Gives a good perspective of the park. Cliffside Cafe. I, I really love the fact that you've included so many shops. I think with the rules, we just, we didn't get so specific this time and we just said like, I think three rides and one shop and one um, flat ride. Just because we, we want to leave it up to the creators whether they want to go heavier on the coasters or the flat rides. Um, and I like that the creator here said like, no, I'm going to make it a fully fledged park. We're doing 10 shops, multiple flat rides. I think he said six. He or she, they. And uh, went ahead and did a few good coasters as well. And even a water ride. It has it all. And that is really impressive to me. I like the perspective here while we're hanging over the cliff. It gives you an extra bit of vertigo. Look at that. That is sensational. Oh, it starts spinning after. I had no idea what was happening to me up there. Okay. This is so cozy. Can I see this at night here? Where's Webby when you need him? Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. Missy Goods. Yeah, I like this. Oh, even the panels here light up. Can we take a look at the park from up top? Really nice. Yeah, this is, this is incredible. Oh, another great one by one shop in the shape of a barn. A little cow eyes poking out. Ooh. See, I see this and I get inspired. I, I, my favorite thing to do in Planet Coaster was to design shops. That's what I filled my workshop with the most when I started playing. And I see little things like that and I go, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I think of that? These one by one shops are great. I did a handful of myself. There's the Adams again. Money? What's with the big dollar sign? Wait, what? What? Are, what is this? The executive. Oh, this is uh, where the executive decisions are made to make all that money. Wow, this looks incredible. Wow. Okay, what's the coaster? Let's find out. It's a uh, giga coaster, green across the board, 1,400 meters in length. Biggest drop is 63 meters, 80 miles per hour. Lots of air time. Let's go. was impeccable. I have to do this again in cinematic.
Wow! <laughs> this is sensational. I have a clear favorite so far. I am sorry to all the other builders, but uh, it calls to me, this one. There's just uh, stuff everywhere. And I have mentioned this to the previous builders that were struggling with path work. This is a great example of good path work. So, if I couldn't find the words to explain how to, uh... Wait, what's up? Oh, this is for that turbine, gotcha. Wow. But the, the details here, this is all custom, added in to the queue. And, um, integrated around these fences, these rocks, lanterns, little archways. All that stuff just makes it so integral. Um, little posts and stuff. You know, and then there's custom woodwork here. Everything custom. And it makes the pathwork seem so seamless. What do we got here? A ride. Oh, I love this greenhouse. Let's do the flipperoni again. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is the freaking... I've seen it from a completely different perspective. Ah, oh, it's so nice. My god, what a joy. The dairy barn. Oh, I like the little sunflowers. Yes, the colors is great too. I would have small small critique i would have made the barn pink because barns are normally red and cosmic cow is pink and blue and then the interior blue yeah all right i mean that's that's about the only feedback you're getting from me today <laughs> this is so masterful wow uh the creation cove wow I sound like a broken record, all my wows today. The Squid Ride? Did you guys watch the Squid Games? That was fun. Oh, it's based off the Squid Games. It's got triangle, circle, and square. Oh. I binge wa I couldn't stop watching the Squid Games. I binge watched the entire thing in one sitting. <laughs> I think I finished at like six in the morning. <laughs> Uh, again, with the path work, we got little uh, box lights here, fence work, and it's not perfect either. It's got a little bit of randomness to it. Really cool. I, I'm so immersed. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of vertigo. I'm getting like nervous. <laughs> what are we going to? <gasps> no, you did all this for a whirly. Oh, it's the Squid Games whirly rig. Oh, oh, squid or barrel. Pick wrong, get soaked. Oh, that's fun. Okay. We're gonna just let... We're gonna go with squid. No, squid's gonna get wet. Or at least you think it you would. I don't know how to do this. What are we in? I think we're in a barrel. I wanted a squid. How do you get a squid? Ah, this is a squid. How do you face forward? What the heck is wrong with this thing? I have never ridden a whirly ring. Okay, forget all this nonsense. Let's just watch it from here. It says we're gonna get soaked if we're in the wrong one. This is a uh, really impressive. This is probably the best whirly rig I have ever seen. And I love it, the fact that it's at the very, very, very top of the mountain. You're giving um, a lot of respect to the whirly rig. I don't think they ever get soaked. Let's speed it up. I've been lied to. I feel cheated. The camera's making me nauseous. I felt like we we're gonna play a game of musical chairs there. You get the wrong one, you get splashed. Maybe I'm missing something here. Either way, it's uh, cool. If the trigger happened to work properly, it'd be amazing. Yeah, that's that's the most legendary whirly rig ever created. Wow. Okay, the test track. What's back here? Can we go back there? Oh, look at this bridge. You know what? I feel like I saw this bridge, a screenshot of it on Discord. I want to say a month or two ago. So I might have seen Scorch there working on this. The Fungi Forest. Look at the little neon letters or lines and basic shape. 
There's so much design work in here that I don't know where you come up with this stuff, but when you see it, it all makes sense. Look at that. For the umbrella, giant mushroom top. That looks incredible. Veggie kebabs. Tacos. Smoothies. There you go, a little healthy corner. Ah, oh, that building looks remarkable. Yes, let's go. The natural lighting hits this park so nicely, too. It really does. Okay. Environmental sub-zero heat, electrical, flare guns, mechanical, durability, and anti-flip. We are going on a ride, to say the least. Look at all the details! Okay, guest facing cam, day or night. We're gonna turn off ambient occlusion so that the water looks a bit better. It uh, will hurt the look of some other things though. And uh, we're going to do this in guest facing is what they asked for. Do we turn it around? I guess so. All right, enjoy the ride. was really really good and I like the theming behind it I like the fact that you decided hey we're gonna turn this into a testing thing am I what is this the exit what is this what is happening just uh how do you get off of this thing oh I think oh you snuck it in there just barely uh wow oh, let me turn this ambient occlusion back on Boop. I like the way that looks Grove at the Cove. It's cozy. Yeah, see, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the modern pieces in Planet Coaster. I'm a, a fan of sci-fi and modern designs. And this park has it all. And I like shops. I really do. That's why we've done so many shop contests over the years. We're kind of due for another one, aren't we? Ooh, we got a kitty coaster back here. Doesn't look so kitty to me though. All right. This is one of these ones where I really don't want to miss anything. 
um, because it's so intricate, right? It's quite easy to miss things, so I just gotta be extra careful. It's not so obvious. Whoa. Again, with the path work. And you've managed to wrap a priority queue up here. Uh, doing a spiral pathway isn't the most fun thing. And you manage to do them at different elevations. Oh, that's the exit. Oh, that's the queue. Right, that makes sense. You would have to do both. Wow! Burr, 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 cheap beef! Ooh, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Very pretty. I like what you've done with this park. And that's, um, one of the things that makes... Oh, that was right on top of the Roctopus. Look at that. So seamless. One of the things that makes a really good park is elevation levels. Okay. Well, we did not go on the stunt pilot. We went on the Giga Coaster, right? I want to say I'm so immersed that I might not have... I don't know what's going on. 118 years of flight. The fuselage. All right, let's take a look at these coaster stats, everybody. It's a launch drive tire. Let's go. stuff. I like how it interacts with the Giga Coaster just a little bit, but kind of stays in its own lane. Whereas the Giga Coaster reaches out across the park a little bit more. Spans outward. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where the entrance to this little kitty coaster is. Da -da 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 -da. You would think it would be in here, right? Oh wait, was that the super secret? Of course. Wait, that's not a kitty coaster at all. The track is the same as the Wendigo. For some reason, I thought that was a Wendigo track. So we, in fact, went in there, and that is the underground area. Look at all this. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Get it together, Johnny. Get it together. I'm so bedazzled. Look at these shops. This is incredible. And I love this little greenhouse. He did this really nicely. Uh, we saw a greenhouse creation earlier in the beginner bracket, and I was trying to say that, like, maybe they used the panels wrong. And there you go. This is, um how to do it where it's not as repetitive. I think that was uh, Gray Fox. If you're watching this Gray Fox, there's a little way to do greenhouses differently. All right. Well, I want to say I, I'm, I hit it all. I'm almost sad that the episode's ending. This is such an incredible journey. Look at all this. This is truly spectacular. Wow, setting the bar high is Scorch CT. I don't think we've been in here. Oh, today's guests are tomorrow's power. Oh, here we go. This is where everybody powers the park. <laughs> Look at that. A little production line creating power. Oh, wow. That is super creative. Every flat line ha ride has so much detail gone into it. And I'm just taking another look around, making sure I hit it all. What was your favorite part and why? Fire down in the comments below. Ooh, it's so hard to pick a favorite area. I, I personally really like the complexity of this tower and how many rides you fit in there and how it's all above like this little shopping mall and plaza, that being the main attraction centralized. Uh, that's really nice. This, just a really nicely designed whirly rig and the ride was so well integrated. We've seen designs like this in the past where River Rapids going through um, this style of rock work and and nature, but you did it exceptionally nice. And it's something calls to you at that with the little logos of the Squid Game as well. That's fun. Um, and then I think this might actually be my favorite. You did this greenhouse 
so nicely. You got the cosmic cow in there. They got the chairlifts coming up here, and it brings us up to the Plantech in, uh, Industries with the Giga Coaster. This encompasses a lot. This overhangs the whole park. Yeah, th I think this is going to be my favorite little section of the park. And I love that we can say that too. We got this airstrip down here, shopping mall. Uh, what is this? Do we go in here? Oh yeah, the a little alpine area as well. And then we had like our little mushroom forest walk back here. This whole ski lodge area or water, whatever you call it. There's a lot going on here and it's all cohesive. There's a lot of different elements, a lot of different themes, but it all cohesively works together, creating one of the coolest parks I have ever seen. And definitely my favorite so far in this mini park contest. But I gotta say, while it is my favorite, there have been many so far that I really, really, really enjoyed. Not really any disappointing ones. Everybody's really stepped it up and this is proving to be even better than last year. So, really good job, everybody, and especially Scorch CT with this one, setting the bar high for your bracket, showing how it's done, and I sense a rank up coming up after this contest, so. What did you guys think? Fire away in the comments below. Make sure you share this video on social media so Scorch CT has more eyes on his creation that he works so hard on. Let's give him some more love. Hit that share button, tweet it out, all that good stuff, and uh, that's gonna do it for me in today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next submission. Bye now.